to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Tuesday, November 1st of 2022, the National Association of Private Clinics and Hospital and the CLEP joined the claims of the Dominican Medical Association, which maintains its services in the north of the country paralyzed, as part of the protest that it develops in claim of improvement in the conditions in participating in the Dominican social security system. Despite the decreasing incidence of COVID-19 in the country, with the report of only three hospitalized patients and a positivity rate below 2% in the last 24 hours, health authorities are concerned about the high rate among the Dominican population of non-communicable diseases such as obesity and overweight, hypertension, and diabetes. The lawyer Vinicio Castillo Seman asked the General Direction of Public Procurement and Contracting to initiate an investigation award to a company of the Consulting and Analysis Contract for the 10th National Population and Housing Census for the year 2022. The Constitutional Court established that the so-called migratory alerts placed by public entities not authorized by the Magna Carta or by law as an instrument against people have been a practice often used without constitutional foundation or legal basis. The Monte Plata Collegiate Court sentenced a man accused of sexually raping his teenage daughter for three years in the Yamasa municipality, Monte Plata province, to 20 years in prison. Between pleas, personal stories, and several requests, the National Congress held public hearing on the special bill that will regulate care for people with autism and for two hours heard concerns focused on economic and educational aspects. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario. Voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.